Cancer can take place in several parts of the bowel. We use the terminology bowel cancer, which really defines cancer taking place in the intestine or the colon. So we'll hear the term colon cancer to refer to cancer taking place in the intestinal part of the bowel. The other part of the bowel where cancer can occur is in the rectum, and indeed just beyond the rectum, around the anus. So you'll hear the term called rectal cancer talked about as well. And indeed, the two terms are very often put together and doctors will talk about colorectal cancer. So it's very important that if any patient has any symptoms that they suspect may be worrying, that they suspect may be cancer, or if they have any concerns around the issue, they should present to their doctor at an early stage. As we know, cancer of the bowel is associated with some very specific symptoms. So your doctor will want to ask, has there been any bleeding from the back passage or rectum? Your doctor will want to know, has there been any change in bowel habit over the past four to six weeks that has maintained? Any change in discomfiture in the abdomen that may be associated with a difficulty in evacuating the bowel, any sense of bloating, any sense of discomfort or maybe a feeling of a mass in the abdomen would be other symptoms that the doctor would want to explore in particular. If there's a change in bowel habit, and by this we mean if your bowel motions have become quickened or if you have become constipated and this has been maintained over a four to six week period of time, this may be of significance and may be an indicator that there's something going on inside there. Um, another symptom may include that sense of not being able to evacuate the bowel fully um, on passing a bowel motion. Um, also, maybe some sense of fullness or um, a lump in the tummy might be a sign of something happening internally there as well also. So as the doctor compiles and gets an idea of the list of items that may be present, um, a picture emerges. The doctor will want to carry out a physical examination. I think the first thing we might do are general things, like take the patient's weight, um, maybe check and see is the patient anemic. And thereafter, it's most likely a doctor might want to put a hand on your abdomen. I think in this particular case, the doctor would ask you to lie on, on their couch and they'd put a hand on your tummy and just see was there anything to be felt in that area. Um, maybe then after that, uh, if there are symptoms of bleeding in particular, uh, the doctor might want to examine the back passage or do an examination of the back passage. This is often um, maybe a source of embarrassment for many patients, but you can be quite assured that your GP will have done this examination many times every day and every week of the year. So there's no real reason to be embarrassed in this regard. Um, having a look around the anal margin is a, useful, um, is a useful thing for us to do. There may be other simple causes of bleeding like hemorrhoids or maybe a small tear called a fissure. So the doctor will, with a light, look locally to see is there any cause of bleeding from that particular area. Then an examination of the back passage involves your GP putting some, some gel on a gloved finger, which is inserted into the anal margin. Maybe there's a mild symptom of discomfort associated with that, but certainly no pain. Um, the doctor can get some useful information in case there was something happening locally around that area. But thereafter, and after that history and examination, I think your doctor will have some sense as to the possible seriousness of your particular problem. A decision will be made on what course of action to take subsequently. Maybe your doctor will reassure you that on the basis of the history and the examination, there haven't been symptoms of concern and will maybe give you some pointers to look out for in the future. Maybe your doctor will have a degree of concern that will suggest you come back in some four or six weeks time. And I think it's very important that a patient, if they're invited to come back to the doctor, just to check in with them again after the designated period of time. Or indeed, if new symptoms arise, it's very important that the patient doesn't assume that just because they had one trip to the doctor, that things are going to be okay subsequently. So that revisit, if indicated, um, should be followed through on. Your, your GP may decide to refer you for a colonoscopy for further investigations of these symptoms. A colonoscopy is the definitive test for determining whether there is something of significance happening inside in the bowel. This will take place in a hospital. 
it'll be done sometimes under a light anaesthetic, but it'll be done on a day case basis. Um, it's a test that maybe has some small discomfort, but by and large um, doesn't cause any significant pain. The patient would go into hospital maybe in the morning, have the procedure done and be able to return home later that afternoon. Um, I should mention the night before that there may be a preparation given to the patient that may help them to cleanse their bowel. Their bowel should be empty before this procedure takes place and this medicine will cause maybe a lot of loose bowel motions and maybe some watery diarrhea to evacuate the bowel. But that's not um, a very difficult uh, uh, product to take indeed. Um, the doctor who's taking the colonoscopy will take a biopsy from the tissue lining the colon. These results will then be looked at over some days and the result will be sent back to your own GP. Um, you then would make an appointment with your own GP for these particular results. If you have any concerns about cancer of the bowel, ring the Irish Cancer Society at 1800 200 700. There one of the nurse specialists will talk you through the symptoms and give you advice in relation to your condition and may advise you to attend your family doctor. Early presentation is very important in relation to bowel cancer. Come early, get diagnosed early and get treated early. Don't ignore the signs because early diagnosis is best.